And so, it's Christmas Eve, Eve, Eve. The Friday before Christmas, I'm back at Disney. Chip and Dale. Kind of in the fence like zoo animals. Let's see what's going on in Launch Bay. It was announced this week that the Little Mermaid, at least this version of it, going away for good, being replaced with a new version. That's been sitting dormant since COVID and just nothing happened. Oh, we've got characters flooding the courtyard. We've mentioned this in prior videos. They pretty much just let Launch Bay over here to rot, except for character meets. The movie no longer in existence. Some displays don't exist anymore. It kind of smells like mold in here, but we've still got that star. Oh my. Stand aside. <laughs> Come forward. The Empire acknowledges your support. You will not regret your decision to serve the Empire. You may regret the decision not to. I wish you well in your endeavors until we meet again. So I say when you come to Disney Parks, you gotta meet the boss. Now, I didn't have any concrete plans for the park here today at all. No Genie Plus or anything like that. I didn't think I'd get on any rides, but we'll see how it goes. It's Christmas weekend, so it's kind of insane to even be here, but I figured I'd get out and walk around a little bit. Well, you can see it's Star Tours from a distance is at 40 minutes. That's 40 minutes too long for me to wait. We'll walk around a little bit and come back and see if the line dips. So earlier this week at Baseline, it looked like some of these tables out here were covered and there was some construction happening and it doesn't look like it is now. But we are gonna make a stop at the greatest attraction in this park. Charcuterie board coming up. Here we go. Norm Disney, this is for you. Well, that was amazing. Onward to Batu. Spaceship, spaceship. No Mandalorian in sight. The crowds are pretty much what I expected. Ah, oh, there's a ham sugar cookie. Here they are, the stars. There may or may not be a snake in his boot. All right, we're getting out of this madhouse. And on to the next disaster. And so this whole trip today has really been geared around trying to find something that Mary saw in the parks a while back. I did not want to buy it in front of her at the time because I wanted to try to surprise things. And now I can't find it anywhere. I figured Springs is the last alternative. Wow, can you hear those birds? Can you see them? There's gotta be like a hundred of them in this tree. Star Wars! Making our way around into World of Disney. Munchlings. Glowy. A lot of the Disney 100 stuff 
is now 30% off, getting clearance out. It is crazy in here, so filming is limited. Well, the crowd was insane in there. I ended up with something that I wasn't looking for, but nice. We'll take a look in co-op. It's been a minute since we've been in here. <laughs> we have a neat Oswald statue. And those bags that we saw recently. And funny enough, in the Disney World section, it's just a lot of Disneyland stuff. We have a bunch of Disney Christmas stuff that I have not seen elsewhere. Including this tree skirt and this duck the halls. They used to have all kinds of really cool, unique dresses and stuff in here, and now it's just artwork. It's Douglas J. Fur. Santa is back there too. I assure you, the Star Wars store has like a fraction of the things that used to be in here. There are a couple really cool things in here though, like that Stormtrooper is 250 and this Rex is amazing. 200 bucks. This is adorable. It's the Coco. That piano will travel. We usually don't move, but this one just has a lot to get up and go. It's the big one. Nightmare Before Christmas Tree. And time to head out. Friday night at Texas Roadhouse. Roadkill and loaded mashed potatoes. And a filet and sweet potato. Happy Christmas Eve Eve. We've moved on to just the Eve Eve. Lunch and breakfast. They got that automated bus going around here. Look at the driver. There is none. It's slim pickings at Lids. Jerseys are looking a little bare. That's quite the likeness. Shopping malls in the 2020s. What you got? Ruby Doo! Oh, For the Hall of Fans. Get some Pusheen Rabin. Oh, what's happening here? This is a family video. Is this the Derek Zoolander section? You want that for Christmas? Nope. How about this thing? I'm not even Look, quite sure, like, we're It's on the mannequin. Oh my god. It could be Elvis. It's massage chair time in the city. Next stop, Sam's Club. You can get this Gerber multi tool set. 1634. Or these knives for 20 bucks. I'll tell you what, I have this knife at home. This is my favorite little pocket knife. Good morning, actual Christmas Eve. I can't believe we're doing this, but I gotta go to Walmart. Not for Christmas presents, but because I need deodorant. Here you go, TMI. What kind of deodorant I use? Plus a meat thermometer. <laughs> I have to measure how hot my meat is. And they have a lot of snoop on the stoop. And there he is. And it's Valentine's Day. All right, now we're finally saying goodbye. And this is it for this disaster of a video that went all over the place. But this literally was Christmas, the weekend before Christmas, Christmas Eve, 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 Eve. Eve. <laughs> and now we're off to the box. Separate video. We'll see you guys later. Thanks a lot for coming along. Thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Merry Christmas. See you guys.